Now let's look at the discriminant, but now let's look in the case when you have uh, not just real numbers, but complex numbers. So again, the discriminant is simply b squared minus 4ac. And um, what we notice here is that we have certain rules. So if b squared minus 4ac is positive, then you're going to have two real solutions. And it turns out that if you have two real solutions, you have no imaginary solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is negative, then you're going to have no real solutions. And you're going to have two imaginary solutions. So one way to think about it is the total number of complex solutions is always going to be two. If you have two real, you have no imaginary. If you have two imaginary, you have no real. Um, if we're going to do this, though, we're going to need to change our terminology a little bit. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then typically in Algebra 1 and sometimes in Algebra 2, we'll say that there is one real solution. But that's um, a little tricky there. Even though there's one real solution, it's going to be a double solution. And what I mean by that is, well actually I'll just show you what I mean by that. Um, what I mean by that is, is that you'll have the same solution twice. And in this case again, you'll have no imaginary solutions. So let's just do an example, and let's do an example where we will, in fact, have an imaginary solution. So let's go, um, let's go 6x squared plus 12x plus 6 is equal to 0. And here a is 6, and b is 12, and c is 6. And what we're going to have here is b squared minus 4ac. Let's plug our numbers in and we end up with 12 squared minus 4 times 6 times 6. And that's 144 minus 4 times 6 times 6. And let's look what 4 times 6 times 6 is. 4 times 6 times 6 is going to be 144. So you get 144 minus 144 is 0. So the way we'd said that before is we'd say it's one real solution. That's the way we'd say it in Algebra 1 and much of Algebra 2, but actually the real way we'd say this is we could say there's two real solutions or, so it's not confusing, we could say there's a double solution. And let's think about what that means. 6x squared plus 12x plus 6 is equal to 0. Let's factor it. Let's factor a 6 out. Factor a 6 out, you get x squared plus 2x plus 1. I'm going to divide both sides by 6, and I get x squared plus 2x plus 1 is 0. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to factor that. So let me just move this up and let's factor that. Here we have x plus and x plus. And what two numbers multiply to 1 and add to 2? Well, that's x plus 1 and x plus 1. If we're going to solve that, then what we get is we get x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x is minus 1 or x is minus 1. So it is true that there's one real solution, but we get it twice, and that's what we mean. Uh, it, it's kind of semantics, and it doesn't necessarily matter, but let's think about why it might help us to say that, because in that case, we'll either have two real solutions and no imaginary solutions, or two imaginary solutions or no real solutions, or we'll have a double real solution and no imaginary. 
in that sense that we always have two complex solutions. Let's do one more example of finding the discriminant and finding out how many real solutions there are. So let's find, let's do 3x squared plus 2x plus 10 is equal to 0. So A is 3 and B is 2 and C is 10. And we don't want to solve this, we just want to find the number of solutions. So let's go B squared minus 4AC. So that's 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times 10, which is 4 minus 4 times 3 times 10. That's 12 times 10, that's 120. 4 minus 120 is minus 116. So the discriminant is minus 116. And what that means is, is that there are no real solutions. We knew that already. But what we also know is that there's going to be two imaginary solutions. And that's how you use quadratic formula with complex numbers.